Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. Bit of a different video today, and this is a video that has been requested so many times. I thought it was time that I sat down and made it. So it's gonna be shorter. It's all about my tips, secrets to how you can build your own coaching business. Now I'm going to take you through my experience and what I've seen work for me, what I've seen work for other people, and hopefully you guys can go away and really use this information to possibly start up your own sort of business. Now the first thing I will say is it is not for everyone. You have to organize sessions, you have to speak with parents, you have to listen to parents talk about their kids all the time. Sometimes you'll be babysitting kids, but at the end of the day you're around football. So for me, it all started, I told you guys the story the other day, I was working up at a shop, just stacking shelves, nothing special. My mentor said, Sheldon, get into coaching. I said, okay, where do I start? And I went, mm, okay. So I just put an ad out on an app. You can do this, like, I don't know, a Craigslist, whatever. I don't know if it really works anymore. Back in the day, it really used to. And I got a few people through that and slowly built it up. Then from there, my coaching schedule built up and up and up and up. I met Sam through that, he messaged me, I think when he was 14 or 13 even, he asked me for some coaching through that. And then I went, okay, I wanna expand this a little bit more. So obviously social media marketing is massive. And I decided to put a thousand Australian dollars into Google AdWords, which is basically like when someone searches for a term on Google, you come up as an ad. And then I put a thousand dollars into Facebook with a little video that I made. Now from that $2,000, do you wanna know how many clients I got? I got absolutely zero. I spent $2,000 on marketing man and nothing happened. The other thing I spent some money on was some flyers to give out when I went to games and stuff. I probably got, I spent maybe $600 on that and I think I got maybe one or two clients. So the only real way that I got my players to coach was through word of mouth and through the app. And mind you, I was making some pretty good money. I, like, Man, there were some weeks where I might have even made $1,000. I had one session where I made $250 for an hour and a half. That was a big group session. Then you have other sessions where it's a lot smaller. It all depends on everything. So yes, there can be some very good money in it, but you have to be a good coach. If you're not a good coach, and especially when you're starting out, I started out charging very little because I wanted to learn and become a better coach. Once I felt I knew a lot about coaching and how I can actually help players, my price went up. Then I also got recommended into teams because I would coach players one-on-one -on -one privately. And they'd say, hey, do you wanna come coach my team? I said, yeah, okay, let's do it. And then I, had some, I remember one season, I think I had like five or six teams that I was coaching. And then you have to organize each team. You have to remember the name. Like it can be a lot of work. At some points, I even had too many sessions on my hand. I had to get another guy to come in and do some work for me. So that's kind of what happened with me. And then I went overseas and I don't know, I just, I wanted to, put my time into other things like Steps Apparel, like YouTube, and most importantly, my football. Coaching for me just, it wasn't, it's not a huge passion anymore. Everyone's gonna make money and if it's to do with football, then yeah, okay, whatever, I'll do it. So what have I seen work with other coaching businesses? 100%, I will say Instagram and Facebook, they've been killing it. If you can nail Instagram and Facebook, especially marketing, don't think that you're gonna get all your clients free. I put that $2,000 into AdWords and Facebook and it was a mistake. I didn't really know what I was doing. I needed to study it more. I needed to watch more YouTube videos to understand that stuff. All this information is free. So look, you, you gotta have money to make money. It's simple. And on top of that, to be a football coach and own your own business, you have to be an entrepreneur. If you're not an entrepreneur, a lot of people say they are, but they're not. You have to have that mindset. I'm always thinking, okay, what can I do to expand this? I was thinking all the time about, okay, what if I spoke to this person who could then connect me here and then I'd have access to all of these players. So in terms of you guys, what can you do? Let's say you have $0 which look, you shouldn't get out and work and make that money to make money. But you have zero dollars, put your ad up on like free websites. It's simple, maybe one comes through and then that one you might make, I don't know, however much per week you do that once a week, you slowly build it up and they do word of mouth and you get a few more people. I don't know, man, you just gotta be entrepreneurial with it. Study your stuff, learn the Facebook algorithm. Put work into your Instagram page. Maybe you're posting two or three times a day with Instagram stories, everything. But if you're just complaining, going, oh, I have no coaching clients, my life sucks, and you're not doing anything, well, what do you expect? Now, the last thing I will say is, well, you need equipment. Again, you need money to make money. So I spent so much money on equipment. I've probably spent over, I'd say over $1,500 on equipment. And that's just, you know, little things here, maybe a ball pump, and then you need another ball pump. I don't know. And then you need size four balls, and then you end up coaching a 
team which needs size three balls, so you need to buy ten of those. Do not, do, <laughs> please don't do this. Do not rock up to a session, even if it's your first session with two balls, a couple cones, a couple poles, and that's it. You need to be way more professional than that. And that doesn't mean set up stupid things like a million hurdles and a ladder here and some cones there, and then you're gonna go with the mannequins. Just be smart with it, okay? So that's my advice for you guys. Know your Facebooks, know your Instagrams, invest money into it, but know how you're investing money into it. There's so, like you can target people, like it's pretty easy once you truly understand it. And then look at the top dogs as well. Look at Jonah one on one, for example, absolutely killing it. Study his page, study what he's doing. What is he posting? Because the main way you're gonna get your clients is through that social media. Another one, the 10 Academy, how is he getting his players? Think about these things, study them, learn from them, and then implement it yourself. So I hope I helped at least one of you guys. Yeah, I'm just here to help, and any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. For now, Team Tweet, I'm signing out. Make sure you like and subscribe, and enjoy the journey. I'll see you in the rest of your Bye.